dolphins go? There's so many dolphins. my iguana even though it was a great place I loved it I killed a giant mutton fish and got some ice there and met some cool people we had to leave in the midst of the day because we had to keep pushing east and south so we thought we were gonna be able to go like halfway up my iguana on the south side and anchor at Abraham's Bay it wasn't going I don't know what all the reading I had done about it said that it was fine it was protected but with prevailing winds I was like it just can't be good because the prevailing winds go right into it and uh, the reef did very little to stop it. It was rolling like three, four feet in the anchorage and uh, it was pretty wild in there. So it didn't do us much good that day. So we had to go ahead and burn it all the way straight through, which for, even from Abraham's Bay is about a 24 hour sail against the wind to Turks and Caicos. So we just kind of had to turn it on. We'd already been sailing for like eight hours. And then we were like, well, whatever, we'll just it do was 20. A, it was a long night. We'll just do 24 more. But yeah, it was brutal. The seas were, it was blowing like definitely 15 to 20, which is no good, but it can be done. And we got through it. We got here and anchored up for the first night in West Caicos. And now today we are in Grace Bay, Providencialis, Providencials, I don't know how to say it. Providencialis, I think is how they say it. But uh, Provo, I think it's just what they call it here in, in the Turks and Caicos. So this is basically like the Key West of the Caribbean, I feel like. It's just boats and jet skiers and I'm all kinds excited, of... I'm excited, at least, though. I'm excited because I looked up on Yelp. <laughs> you know me, looking up on Yelp. And I saw the grocery stores, and they actually look like they have, like, legit stuff. So I'm pretty excited. Yeah, it seems a little more westernized here, for sure. But uh, we called the marina, we called immigration. One lady acted like we don't have to check in, but I can't imagine that's true. So we're gonna go there now, and uh, we're just gonna kind of see. Maybe we could just mosey on past and go to the grocery store and then get out of here. Yeah, we just wanna fill up on some food and groceries before we make it to the DR. We don't really wanna hang out around here. Sorry for the wind, but we were out here today. I'm finishing up my chores in Providencialis and uh, Provo, Turks and Caicos, filling up some water, doing jugs like that. And this big dolphin swam up. Dolphin Dan came up, and I said, Man, let's see if we can go for round two of swimming with the dolphins. And this time I'm getting it on tape. Matt's swimming with a dolphin. The flipper story is real.
vehicle in our boat for like an hour. This is like the coolest thing. We've been down on our trip, but this definitely recharged the batteries a little bit. It's like one of the coolest things we've ever done together. Kristen got to swim with it this time. It wasn't just me all by myself. So we have video evidence, it won't be refuted. And uh, man, what an amazing experience swimming with a wild dolphin with my beautiful bay. It's uh, been tough on me lately, but this is what they all talk about when they talk about sailing and the cruising lifestyle. I guess it's real. It has some real magic moments. So are we in trouble? Big trouble. We got a big trouble today. So yesterday we went to, we went in there, but immigration was closed and it's like extra fees to get people to come in to do it after hours. And the lady at the marina just told us, no big deal, do whatever you want, go around the island, it's not a problem. But uh, Coastal Patrol just rolled up on me, yelled at me for not having my quarantine flag up, which I did have up, but it was just whipping really hard in the wind, so I took it down temporarily. But yeah, so now we got to go in and check in or we're going to be in big, big trouble. So guess we're not getting away from these customs fees. This just has been the craziest day. Not only is there dolphins still swimming around our boat, it's been hours now. Now we got in trouble and now we got to get sent to land to go check in for one night. But we did call them Marina and the lady said you can go on land get groceries and you don't have to check in and we told her that's all we we're gonna do and then we were gonna leave tomorrow morning and now we probably are gonna stay a couple days I mean if we have to spend a hundred bucks we'll see we don't know what they're gonna charge us we'll have to just see how it goes just for anyone that thinks we're joking about this dolphin that lives in our boat now and won't leave peeping He won't leave, he'll never leave. He's our best friend and we're, we basically got a pet dolphin. Sorry if you're jealous. I wish we could just prove how long it's been since early when we were like, oh my God, a dolphin, and we hurried up and jumped in and swam with him. Then we came back on the boat, saw all our clips weren't good enough. Then we, later on after an hour, we jumped back in and got more clips, and now we're leaving, and the dolphin is still here. Danny the dolphin's still here holding it down. We, uh, we checked in, everything went well. They were pretty smooth here. They only charged just 50 bucks, but they're pretty strict about the checking out, so I think they hit you for another 50, another 50 bucks on the checkout, so. Guess we're gonna see, we're gonna see. But even if you get out of it for 100, we got to swim with a dolphin. We got some good groceries. It's beautiful here. Not only did we get to swim with a dolphin, we got a pet dolphin that just doesn't leave the boat all day, which I'm starting to worry about him. I'm starting to think something could be wrong. I've never just seen a dolphin roll up and hang around the boat. We're in the middle of this big bay, so he's just hanging out here, trying to be our friend, I guess, and I'm not mad at him. beautiful of a day could you ask for in gorgeous Turks and Caicos. We went to the land, got in there, got some nice Turks Head Brewery beer. I ain't gonna lie is the name of this beer and I ain't gonna lie. Swimming with that dolphin was probably one of the coolest things I've gotten to do and I've lived a pretty blessed life. I've gotten to do some pretty cool things but that was awesome. He's been swimming on our boat all day. I hope he's okay. I hope he's not sick or depressed. We had to do a little bit of reading because we never seen a dolphin that much in one day. 
and they say dolphin depression is a real thing. So we tried to swim with him, do some tricks, and uh, get his spirits lifted, but man, that was awesome.